How much time are Columbia and Jefferson City leaders spending on the places they represent? In an ABC 17 News investigation, Marissa Holloway uncovered some are out of town more often than not, but that doesn't stop them from making important decisions about their life. ABC 17 News is looking into residency requirements in mid-Missouri and asking if leaders can effectively advocate for you while they're away. I met with First Ward Columbia Councilwoman Pat Fowler at the home she owns on 6th Street. She wasn't free during the week, so we met on a Saturday morning. Um, so how many nights do you think you stay overnight in Columbia now? Um, I would say it's between two and three. Fowler holds a full-time in-person job in Platte County, Missouri. She drives more than 300 miles round trip. That's more than five hours in the car to keep up with her job and council duties each week. So I used to do it every day when I first took that job. Now, she says she rents a basement in Platte County. Um, some days I'm so tired I'm crabby, but most days I just appreciate that I have the capacity to do the work. How do you effectively connect with people here in Columbia, given your limited time here? So if you ask You'll have to ask the First Ward residents about how much access they had to the earlier First Ward representatives, but they tell me that I am far more accessible to them than my predecessors. Fowler is seeking re-election for her position on council. Just last week, the Columbia Professional Firefighters Union endorsed Fowler's opponent, Nick Knoth. The union president, Zach Prevett, says he tried to set up times to meet with both candidates to discuss public safety issues, but Fowler couldn't meet on a weekday. Uh, but then we have council members that live and work in Kansas City and um, are trying to represent some portion of the population here. But I mean, do you feel like that's fair? Oh, absolutely not. What time does Miss Fowler have? If she can't meet with us for 30 minutes to an hour, what time can she put into our issues uh, in the public safety world when she's making a vote on council? I just think that the taxpayers in, in this community want to be represented by other people that pay taxes, live here, and spend their time here. Leaders in Jefferson City are debating the issue of residency requirements for certain board positions. Mayor Carrie Turgeon wants to open a position up to those living outside limits. We want to keep people as close to Jefferson City as possible. We want to grow our city, and that's really important. But we also want to keep up with the times. But council was not without opposition. No, no. That's just, this is our town, not your town. Come here, and then you can have a say-so. So I think the person would be more... Um, knowledgeable about the city if they lived in this city. I judge the quality of our city leaders by their leadership and whether they live on one side of a line or another doesn't seem that important to me. Back in Columbia, city manager DeCarlin Seawood is the only city employee required to live within Columbia city limits. One of the biggest things that every city is wrestling with is how to get staff. Now, it used to be you had a job that opened up in the city and you'd get you know, 500 applicants. No, today you're lucky sometimes if you get 10. I looked up the home addresses of all department directors in the city of Columbia. I found a handful that live outside of Columbia in Boone County and near places like Hallsville and Harrisburg. You know, we try to find the best people for the job. And sometimes that may mean that you hire someone who lives outside your city limits. But preferably we would love for every employee that represents our citizens to reside within our city. But what does residing somewhere really mean? Is it where you own property, get mail, and vote? Or is it where you spend most of your time? It's all completely legal. Of course. Do you think it's fair? Fair to whom? Fair to the people living here. So you would have to ask my neighbors and the First Ward residents. Everything that is now going well in my life, including my ability to put a new roof on the house um, a couple of years ago, is because I found a better paying job. I wish that existed for me here in Columbia. In Columbia, Marissa Holloway, ABC 17 News. See what says the city of Columbia is currently looking into ways to incentivize leaders to live within the city limits. Some of the topics discussed include down payment assistance, affordable housing, flexibility, and competitive pay.